Hey y'all, this is Jeff with Atlantic Arcade Sales and Service Repair. We're here at Driftwood Dunes in Keough Island. This is gonna be your game, and what I'm gonna do is give you an instructional tutorial on how to play this game. When you arrive, it's, uh, it's either, there's, either they're gonna have, they're probably typically gonna have it on for you. If not, there is a power supply in the back, and he may have something rigged on the side uh, here in the next few weeks for you to use. But typically it's gonna be on, when you approach the game, it's either gonna be in a game or a menu. Uh, when you come up to it, you can hit any, pr pretty much any button. And we started in a menu, but I'm gonna run you through several things. It's a lot, so just, just bear with me here. We're actually in the Arcade Classic menu. If we would like to get to the overall menu, we're just gonna hit this top yellow button. That's gonna be one of your most important buttons along with the number one button. Now we're in the total system selection menu. From here, we can take our left joystick or the middle, these two here, and you can, I'm just moving the joystick up or down and you can go through all these different selections. So you can choose to play PlayStation, Vectrex, uh, you can go to Arcade Classic, Atari, all these different things that you wanna play. But for starters, we're gonna start with Arcade Classics. So now here we are on our Arcade Classic menu. We're gonna hit player one, and this is gonna take us into all our arcade games. From here, it's the same process. We're just gonna take the joystick. We can go up or down one at a time. If you hold the joystick up or down, you can see it scrolls a little faster. And if you hold the joystick left or right, it goes real fast. So you can get to your selection you know, fairly quick. We're gonna run through some things just to make sure we got everything tested while we're explaining all this stuff to you. There's a, but I wanna go through all this stuff with you. So here we are, we have found our game. We're gonna, we'd like to play Street Fighter Three. In order to enter that game, we're gonna go back hit our player one and it's gonna be just like turning on Street Fighter Three. So while that's loading, I'm gonna explain to you with this scenario, we're not gonna be putting uh, any coins in the coin door. It's not even gonna allow you. you, you won't be able to do it. But what we've got right here, this is what you're gonna credit your arcade games with. Keep in mind, most of the games are a quarter, but still like Dragon's Lair or some of the race, some of the games are 50 cent, you have to hit a couple of times. In this scenario, we're just hitting it one at a time. You can see it crediting up, just using our credit button. Now, I'm gonna explain this control panel before we get going too far. What we have here is we have our player one eight way. We have our player two eight way. And we have our player one and two four way. These games that play the street fighting games, the Mortal Kombat games, uh, Fatal Fury games, all the, the majority of these games, it's uh, in this particular sex, uh, game we have here is over 5,000 games. Probably 3,500 of them are gonna be eight way games. That's gonna be what you're gonna use. The older games like your Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, um, Dig Dug, uh, Popeye, you're gonna to wanna to use these older classics, you're gonna to wanna to use a four player joystick and that's gonna allow you to, to manipulate that game properly and keep away from the ghost and, and make sure Pluto don't punch you. So but for the street fighting games, we're gonna be using these eight ways. Now we've got it credited, we're just gonna hit player one and the game starts to lose. And then you're just gonna decide, like right now if I wanna play player two, I hit player two, it comes in. So with this, you pick all your little supers, the different different styles of street fighters. What you've got in the majority of the games, you're only gonna have a few buttons. In Street Fighter, however, you do have six buttons for each player. And each one of these are gonna do different things. All, all of them are gonna do something different. So, but in the majority of your games that you're gonna play, they're not gonna have six buttons. They're gonna have a fire button and maybe a jump button, which is gonna make this red button and your, that's gonna be your go-to buttons on this one. Go two buttons here, go two buttons here. So when you're playing a game that just has jumping or shooting, it's gonna be that red button all the time. At any time you wanna leave a game, it's really simple. We're gonna hold down player one and you're gonna hold it down, it's approximately around two seconds, but you'll see the game stop, you'll hear the music stop, and you just let up. And now you're right back in the arcade classic menu, and we can go right back to scrolling. We can scroll. But for time's sake, we're gonna show you how to get to other menus, other parts of the game. Once again, we're in a menu, so we hit this top yellow button. 
And now we go to the overall menu and we can just start scrolling through consoles. Here's Nintendo, everybody loves Nintendo. To load it, we're just gonna go like we did. We're gonna hit player one. And now here is, you know, the catalog of Nintendo games. And it's loaded up some really cool games. I, um, I go to one all the time because folks like it. But um, I probably blistered my fingers playing Mike Tyson. But once we found a selection, it's really cool because it shows the box. It's really neat. So once we find a selection, we're gonna hit player one. It's gonna start to load. Now, with console games, I've noticed with Nintendo, it's typically it's player one that gets you through everything. If you remember with the Nintendo, you only had two buttons and you had a player one and two button. That's really all you had. So with this scenario, you really just keep hitting player one with punch out, which a lot of the Nintendo games, that's what you're gonna do. You just keep hitting it and it's loading it right in. And now here you go. And then once again, remember your go-to buttons. You're gonna have your go-to buttons right here. And that's gonna be the way it is with the majority of the games that are one button, two buttons. These are gonna be the ones that you go to. One hand in. <laughs> and that's pretty much what you're gonna do. Just like with the arcade games, when you're done, you wanna play something else, we're gonna hold down player one just for a couple seconds till you, you'll see everything stop, you'll hear it stop. You let up. And now here you're back at this menu and you can scroll through the same process to find anything you wanna play. But once again, we're in a menu, so to get to the overall menu, we hit that top yellow button. And now here we are, we can go right back to scrolling. There's PlayStation. If you don't know, like if you have a console game, it's one of your favorite games, you don't know how to find it, which console, you can go to the all game selection. However, just realize there's 5,025 games here. So as you're scrolling for your game, it'll give you the different type platforms. Um, so this would actually be the arcade version because that's the uh, header. And then you've got the Mega Drive version, the Nintendo Entertainment version. So you can see that's how you can kind of, you know, try to find your game in, a, in like a super menu. Um, sometimes it's kind of tough to do all that. But anyway, to get back to our arcade, we're in a menu. We just touch the top yellow button and away we go. So when you go to Arcade Classics, uh, just remember, this is going for, for your four games like Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, all those stuff. Player one and player two play through the same joystick. So it's just, you know, we play Miss Pac-Man, lose life, next person steps up, takes off playing Galaga. All of those systems need to be played right here through this. There's lots of trackball games on here. I've actually got a video on the, on the site. Um, you can go to, if you follow this link, you can follow other links to show you, show you different aspects of the Super K. But if you have any questions or concerns, you can't get a hold of the rental property folks, you can text me at 843-450-0171 and I'll help you with any questions or concerns. Uh, if you have any problems, let us know. I hope you enjoy your game.